hello good morning gentlemen so myself sanjay singh an educator and i used to bring some small small videos on some of the topics today also i have brought one topic and we will have a discussion on that we will try to understand the concept behind it with the one problem which we are solving we will try to uh, understand the concept also understand the basics also and finally we try to go to the solution so a single question makes us to understand makes us to uh, practice many things which is there in that particular topic which we need to understand properly okay so right i feel uh, we will be able to do that and we will be doing it okay right fine thank you okay so let us have a discussion so this is gravitation part 2 already i have solved one question and posted that video for everybody's reference now we have started talking about uh, gravitation this particular chapter is in cvc 11th standard okay right so the question is the height at which the acceleration due to gravity becomes g by 9 where g is the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the earth in terms of r and r is the radius of the earth so the question is saying that if suppose this is the surface where we all are knowing that gravitation due to gravity is g and its value is 9.8 meter per second square or for calculation immediate calculation we are taking as 10 meter per second square now we need to find the height from this surface okay where this g value will take the value of new g dash so it will take the value of 1 by 9th part of this g 1 by 9 okay so it will be reducing the more we are moving upward this value of g will get reduced so at what height h this g value which was 10 meter per second square will become 10 by 9 or g by 9 what it is given in question so this is the question so let us find out so we all are knowing the formula of g hmm? okay so before that uh, as we already discussed that newton's law of gravitation according to which we told that the force of attraction between two mass one is m1 and another is m2 is proportional to the product of the masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them so this is called newton's law of gravitation so this part already we discussed in previous video but then also some reference comes that's why i am telling that whenever we are solving questions so not only we solve questions we discuss about formulas also which were applicable okay right so now suppose we take one object as earth complete earth okay and any other hypothetical object right if we are taking anywhere even inside the earth 
ओके हाइपोथेटिकल दैट्स व्हाई आई एम टेलिंग यू राइट सो द फोर्स एज पर दिस न्यूटन्स लॉ ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन वी विल हैव सपोज दिस अर्थ मास इज कैपिटल एम एंड दिस ऑब्जेक्ट मास इज स्मॉल एम एनी वे नाउ दिस एज पर न्यूटन्स लॉ ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन वी विल हैव द फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन बिटवीन दैम सो कैपिटल एम एंड स्मॉल एम एंड सपोज द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन दैम इज आर स्क्वायर सो इट इज आर स्क्वायर नाउ दिस फोर्स ऑल्सो विल बी इक्वल टू द फोर्स एक्सर्टेड ऑन दिस ऑब्जेक्ट due to acceleration due to gravity due to g and which will be equal to mg and gm by r square once we are doing that so this mm will get cancelled and we get the value of g is equal to gm by r square which is the formula actually utilized to find out the value of g okay right and if this r is there if it is radius of earth then this r will become r capital r gm by r square so capital r this can also be written as gm by r square if it is complete radius of earth on the surface you can say outermost surface of the earth if that object is kept so with this formula now we will be able to find h this gravity is decreasing when we move upward so at any point at any height h at any height h if we want to find g so g dash will be equal to gm by r plus h whole square so this r plus h whole square h we will find we need to find h then this g dash is already given that it is g by 9 already it is g by 9 okay right so it is the value has come at g by 9 right then let us find out so from here suppose if g is equal to gm by r square so this gm will be equal to g into r square okay right so let us find out so this g dash is actually g by 9 so g by 9 g it is g by 9 or i will cut it g by 9 is equal to gm is g into r square and divided by r plus h whole square okay so this gg will get cancelled so this one will be giving to us as r square by r plus h whole square is equal to 1 by 9 so taking a square root both side we will get r by r plus h is equal to 1 by 3 then we will solve 3r is equal to r plus h and h is equal to 3r minus r and h is equal to 2r okay 
so h will be two times of the radius of earth there the value of g will become g by 9 so our answer will be this a okay so i hope you all would have understood okay thank you i will take only one question one question itself in one video just for fun also you can see you can have a glance and then next video again one question okay thank you